Good morning, Rose Red Homestead, and I am so nervous. I am doing something for the first time today, and many of you know that I am a novice when it comes to pickling and fermenting. But I promised you, because so many of you requested pickling and fermenting, that I would learn how to do it. Well, this is really my first attempt at doing anything. I think maybe I've done pickles once or twice, but it's just quick refrigerator pickle type things in my life. And so here we go. And please, please add your comments under this video on what we can, what I can do better, what you do, and the fun that you have had doing pickling. This is a tested recipe out of the Ball Blue Book. It is pickled peppers and onions, and it goes directly to food security and uh, self-reliance and emergency preparedness, especially if this works out. And if we like it, then I'll be doing a lot. This will be a dietary deviation for us. We don't eat a lot of pickles, but I think that now that I'm retired, we can branch out a little bit and start doing new things. Um, you may see in the background, I have the Nesco canner processing a batch of something else. We're going to be using the steam canner today. And I already have three quarts of water in there. In just a minute, I'm going to turn the heat on under it so that the water can be heating up. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. I first want to talk about the pickling solution that was a part of the recipe. So over in this other pot on the stove, I have four cups of vinegar, white vinegar, just plain old white vinegar, four cups of water, a cup and a half of just regular sugar, and a half a cup of this salt for pickling and preserving. This particular brand is by Ball, but you can use any brand. And so that's what is, um, I just brought it to a boil. It's a clear liquid now. The salt and the sugar are all melted. In this bowl, I have two cups of red onions in ice water. They've been sitting here for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to discard the ice. I have just washed my hands. So everything is okay. And I'm just going to drain these. and put them out on this towel. And then I'm just going to pat them dry by rolling them and patting them. And then in this large bowl, I'm going to couple of pieces of ice there. Put the onions. And I have three colors of peppers. And the recipe called for two peppers each of each color and when I started chopping them or slicing them into quarter inch slices, I thought, my gosh, two of each color is going to be more than the four pints that the recipe says this recipe makes. And so I did about one, I have one standing by in case we don't have enough. And then here's two teaspoons of crushed red peppers. Then I'm just going to, with my hands, toss these together It's a pretty mix, that's for sure. And then, by hand, we're supposed to stuff these in the jars. And it says stuff. So I'm gonna stuff. I've not done, I've not done stuffing like this before. I'm trying to kind of keep an even number of colors. There, there's got to be a better way to do this. Okay, starting over. I am going to gather them together and stuff them in straight up and down. Maybe this would be a better way to do it. Woo, 
Ooh, that pickling brine is strong. Now we only need to leave a half inch of head space. So that's one good thing. I have a few onions left, but I got all the peppers in, amazingly enough. So now I'm, I think this is gonna be way too much pickling brine. Why it has, has you make so much for four pints, I don't know. So let's see if we can get rid of some air bubbles. And poke some of this stuff down a little bit. All right, there they are. So <laughs> let's get them in the steam canner. Here we go. Okay, now it's producing steam, but I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm going to turn the heat up so it will really produce steam. That steam is not counting against my 10 minutes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this water boil and steam come out for 10 minutes. Now, you can, you can see that my dial is right there. Mine stops about right here and does not get in the green zone. And according to customer service, that is perfectly fine. But I also do my own way of testing it. Our water boils at 203, and so once I have a thermometer that I check it right through here, I don't open the lid, don't open the lid at all during the processing. I won't start the timing until it has vented with enough steam for 10 minutes, and then the processing time is 10 minutes according to the cookbook, but because we live at 5,000 feet, we add another 10 minutes. So we will be processing these for 20 minutes, at which time we'll turn the heat down and get them out and we'll see how they look. So I'm gonna bring you back a couple of times during the processing so you can see this canner at work. So we have steam coming out of the canner just the way it should be. We're ready to start for 10 minutes, so I'm going to start right now counting down 10 minutes. Now you can control where the steam comes out just by shifting the position of the lid a little bit now it's coming out in back, and I don't want it in back because of the cabinet, so I'm going to keep it in the front. And then my dial, it is moving, but I'm really, I can do this eyeballing it just by watching the steam. So steam for 10 minutes, then I'm going to turn it down. Right now, the temperature in the canner oh, is 204 which is interesting since our boiling point is 203. It needs to be, hold at that temperature for 10 minutes before we start the timing. So we'll do that and then we'll come back after the timing is over and we are ready to take the uh, jars out. Remember at the end of the steaming time, I'm gonna turn the heat down so we don't boil all the water out. I wanted you to see this canner right before I turn the heat off. You see that it is producing steam and Jim, if you could get a look, the water is boiling at the, in, on the inside, on the very bottom of the canner, and that's all you need. I've turned it way down. We've got boiling water, we have steam going, and so this is as hot as it's going to get. And in reality, um, I don't even need to take the temperature of this because I know that it has reached the boiling point for where we live. It's obvious because it, the water is boiling in there. So essentially, we don't even need the gauge. So long as you can see the steam, vent it for 10 minutes, then start your processing time accounting for your elevation. So the higher in elevation you are, the more time you need to add on. Because the higher the elevation, the lower the boiling temperature. And so you need to add time to make sure you've killed anything that might be there. Now, one thing about this canner is, that I tried to bring the, the canner to the, the steam to the back and then to the front just by rotating the lid back and forth. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But a good safety precaution when working with this, when I reach across, very often my arm is bare right here. 
And so it's a good idea to, oh, and I'm going to just turn this off because the timer is done. Um, it's a good idea to protect yourself from the steam. Uh, steam and boiling water are the same temperature, but steam is more vicious when it burns. And so I'm going to remove this lid. And now I don't need it because it's doing its regular thing. It's not aimed right at me. So I'm just going to pull these out. Oh my gosh, look how pretty those are. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, gee. I now cannot wait to try these. And this steam canner is going to be fantastic. We will do lots of recipes for steam canning, so those of you that have purchased this canner will have lots of experience uh, vicariously by watching us do things, and then you can mimic that, and then you can share things that you do with everybody else on our, uh, in our community so that we can get a lot of good ideas going for how to use steam canners. So I'm very pleased with this, very pleased, and I can't wait to taste this. So I'm feeling a little bit better about my first experience in doing pickled peppers with onions. And so in a later video, I'll have to report to you how these taste. We're going to let these cool completely, and then um, hopefully they will all seal, and then we will uh, give them a try. So thank you for being with us on this video. I'm kind of excited. So we'll see you at our next video. Bye-bye.